Hey guys, so welcome back. Um, today I'm going to be doing a Python tutorial series. So this is the first episode in the series. It's kind of an introduction showing you how to download Python, how to install it, and then going into data types and variables. So the first important thing to understand about the Python programming language. So don't worry if you've never programmed before. Um, I'm going to be going over everything very slowly and in depth so that you can understand. I recommend that you follow along with everything I'm doing in the tutorial, uh, pause the video at certain points, rewind if you don't understand. Um, it's important you understand these parts so that we can move forward into more complex ideas. So obviously the first um, thing that we're going to have to do if we're going to learn Python is we have to install it on our computer. So uh, we're just going to go to the Python website up here, python.org slash downloads right here. And all you're going to do is just click download Python 3.6.1. Now, I'm not going to do that because I already have Python installed and downloaded on my computer. But pretty much once you uh, download this, it's going to pop up down here in your downloads folder. Just run the exe. It's very simple um, and you'll be running Python in no time. So now pause the video, go ahead and do that, and then we can go to the next steps. Okay. So once you've done that, you're going to notice that you have an application that looks like this. It's called IDLE um, Python, and then it'll have the version. So I'm using version 3.5. Um, don't worry if you have a version that is larger than that, so 3.6, or even one that's before that. Most of the things that I do in this will work in all the versions of Python. Okay, so go ahead and run the IDLE. You'll notice the first thing that pops up is the Python shell. As you can see at the top here, the shell. Now, this right here is not where we're going to write all our programs. It's the console, kind of. So here, I can type any lines of code. For example, I want to print a name like this, and it'll run right away. So that's not what we're going to do. You can play around with this if you want. But we're going to go to File, and we're going to click New File. And then here we go. So now we have a new document that we're going to be working on and we're going to be programming it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this right away as tutorial one into my tutorial folder, which I believe is on my desktop right here. Yep. Right there. Awesome. Okay. So there we go. We've saved it and now we're ready to learn a little bit about data types. So pretty much Python is a fa fairly basic language in comparison to a lot of other ones. A lot of things that it does is uh, more simple than other languages. But it is important to understand the basic data types. So there's four main data types in Python. There is a few more, but we're just going to talk about these ones right now. Um, the first one is an integer. So that can be uh, a short form int. That stands for integer. Now um, an integer is any number, so such as 1, for 76, any whole number. It's important that it is a whole number. It could be a negative number as well, negative 5, um, 0. Those are all integers. OK, now we have strings. Now the short form for strings is str. Now pretty much a string is anything embedded in quotations. So like this, uh, this is my name, Tim. That is a string. And then we also have something like this. This would be a string. And even like this, this would be a string. So although there is a number in here, since it is between these two quotations here, it is a string. So even if I did another number like like that, string. Um, now it's also important to understand that it doesn't matter if you use the single quotations or the double quotations. Sometimes we use the single qu quotations because inside of our actual quotations we want to use the double quotations or maybe um, if we use the double quotations because we want to use the single quotations inside of our actual string like that. OK, so those are just a few examples. Um, now we have Boolean variables uh, or data types, sorry. So Boolean data types is something like true and false. So true and false, pretty basic. Um, these are reserved words in Python. Um, meaning that they're highlighted in yellow and that you cannot use them for variable names. That's going to be important later on. Um, just know that they are important words, uh, true and false, and they do start with capitals. So, um, for example, if I type true like this, uh, it's not highlighting orange, right? So that's because true um, in Python, the keyword for that starts with a capital. So true and false. Um, then we have 
the um, decimals, which are the float uh, data type like this. So anything with a decimal floating point, so 1.23, um, anything like that, any decimal number with a floating decimal point uh, would be a float. Okay, so those are the four basic um, data types. Um, there is a few more that I'll go on to later on, but you just have to understand these ones right now. So now that we know these data types, I'll give a quick little quiz here. So I'm just going to put a few things right here. And then I want you to pause the video and go ahead and try to determine what type of data type these things are. Okay, so go ahead, pause the video, and then I'll go over the answers in a second. Okay, so we'll start with the first one here, uh, hello. It's the same example that I have up here, except in single quotations. So we can see that it is a string data type. Okay, so that is the short form str. Now we have the number 123, that would be the integer data type. We have another number here that has a decimal point, so 3.22, that would be a float. We have the keyword true, this data type is a boolean data type. Then we have two in quotations, this is very important, we don't want to get this mixed up, this is a string. Some people may think that it's an integer because it's two, but no, it actually is a string because it is inside of the quotations. And then same thing here, three inside of the double quotations, again, is a string, not an integer. Okay, so now that we have an idea of the basic data types, um, I'm going to show you how to create a variable. So pretty much you may have heard of variables before in math or something like that. Um, in math, we tend to use x as a variable. We say x may be 5, x may be 4, anything like that. Um, it's the same thing in Python. Now declaring a variable in Python is very easy. All you have to do is type the variable name. So in this case, I'm going to use name and then simply give it a value. So this value, as you may remember, is a string. This is my name and I'm just storing it in the variable name. Now, if I want to access that variable, I want to see what that variable is. I can print it to the console by simply typing the variable name, which is name. So now we'll see what happens. Um, if I run the program, just going run, run module, I'm going to use F5 from now on. So that's the uh, thing. And you can see it prints out Tim, just like that. Okay. Now, um, say we did that. We have name equals Tim. We printed it to the screen. Now, maybe we want to change that variable. Well, it's very easy. Again, all we have to do is just type the value name, and now maybe we're going to change it to Bob. And now we want to see what the new, vari new variable is, so we will print it to the screen. We'll print name, click F5 to run that, and we'll see name, and, or sorry, Tim, and then Bob. So like we have here, name equals Tim, print name, name equals Bob, print name, right? So we've set it like that. Okay, so that's pretty basic. Um, now you can create variables of different data types. So for example, if we had a variable age, I would use an integer data type, so like 18 for that variable. And then again, if I wanted to print it to the screen, I would type print and then the variable name like that. Okay, 18, perfect, right? So we printed that to the screen. Um, again, if the variable names, um, there's a few restrictions on variable names. So here, you just see I've used three lowercase letters. Um, your variable names can contain underscores. Um, they cannot contain dashes. Um, they can only contain underscores, text, and they cannot start with a number, I believe. So if I try to do one, one name equals two, for example, I run into an invalid syntax error because we can't name a variable starting with a number. Now, I can end it with a number, I believe. Let us try. Yep, so that's fine. It's let us do that. Name equals one. I could do name underscore um, person, maybe. Yeah, name underscore person. You see if I run that program, everything's fine there. Um, but I can't put something like a star in my variable name. You see how we've got an invalid syntax there, right? This is because these symbols represent something else in the Python language. So just know for names, um, we can use capitals if we'd like. I could use name like that. Just run the program. That works fine. 
but I cannot start it with numbers, so I cannot put a number there. Um, and I cannot contain anything other than underscores, text, and numbers in or at the end of the variable name. Now, here's a quiz for you. If I make a variable called name, and I do another variable called name, um, are they the same thing? Now, that's a good question. Um, are these two the same thing? Um, no, they are not the same thing. So capitals do matter in Python. The all capitals variable name is different than the variable name. So again, name like this is different than all of those variables there. Okay, so I think I've covered um, a little bit on variables and data types today. Um, this is the, the complete basics, just wanting to get everyone caught up. Um, in the next video, we'll go into some more advanced things, maybe uh, operations of variables, adding them together, subtracting, multiplying, um, Boolean conditions, things like that, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Um, stay tuned, and we're going to have another one out tomorrow. Um, and like the video if you if it was good and subscribe. So yeah, thank you